thermodynamics, the Van T Hoff equation. For this reaction, the equilibrium constant is 42.3 at 25 degrees Celsius and 34.7 at 50 degrees Celsius. Making the approximation that standard delta H and standard delta S do not change with temperature, calculate the values of standard delta H, standard delta S, and the equilibrium constant, K, at 100 degrees Celsius. Calculate the value of delta S of the universe for this reaction at 50 degrees Celsius, at constant pressure. The question gives us the equilibrium constants at two different temperatures, and this is a really big hint that tells us this question is going to need the Van T Hoff equation. Note that no matter what the reaction is that is given to us, the procedure for this kind of question will always be the same. We rearrange the equation to solve for standard delta H. We place the values given to us into the equation. T1 is 25 degrees Celsius and T2 is 50 degrees Celsius. Make sure to transform the temperature values into kelvins. The standard enthalpy variation is negative 6,346.06 joules. We put our final answer in kilojoules. We round it to three significant digits, since the least precise data from the question also had three significant digits. However, we also keep a non-rounded version of our answer in joules that we can use for other calculations. To calculate delta S, we will use the free enthalpy equation. But first, we need standard delta G. We will use the following formula to calculate standard delta G at 25 degrees Celsius. Delta G at 25 degrees Celsius is negative 9,283.21 joules. This value will be placed at the top because it will be used again. Now that we know delta G's value, we can find delta S with the free enthalpy equation. We rearrange for standard delta S. We calculate delta G at 25 degrees Celsius, so we have to use 25 degrees Celsius, but in kelvins as our temperature here. We could have also calculated delta G at 50 degrees Celsius and used 50 degrees Celsius as the temperature in the equation instead, if you would like. We insert the values for standard delta H and standard delta G that we already calculated, and we divide by the temperature corresponding to our delta G. We round the final answer to three significant digits. Again, we will keep an answer with multiple significant digits for future calculations. To find the equilibrium constant at 100 degrees Celsius, we will use the following formula. However, we only know standard delta G at 25 degrees Celsius, not 100 degrees Celsius. The question told us that standard delta H and S don't ever change, but standard delta G does change with temperature. So, we need to find standard delta G at 100 degrees Celsius first. We will use the same free enthalpy equation as we did in the last calculation. We put in our values for delta H and delta S that we already calculated. The standard free energy value is negative 10,022.05 joules. Now that we know the standard delta G at 100 degrees Celsius, we can calculate the equilibrium constant at this temperature. We insert the standard delta G value that we just calculated with its corresponding temperature, 100 degrees Celsius, but turned into kelvins. The equilibrium constant is 25.3. It does not have any units because they all get cancelled out. Now for the last part of the question. The value of delta S universe at 50 degrees Celsius will be the sum of the standard entropy variation and the entropy variation of the surroundings. We have to build this equation from the data on our formula sheet. We already calculated standard delta S, but not delta S of the surroundings. We know that at a constant temperature, the entropy variation is equal to Q divided by the temperature. For the entropy variation in terms of the environment, it will be the inverse of the Q of the reaction, because the environment absorbs what the reaction releases, so we add a negative sign. At constant pressure, the Q is equal to the enthalpy variation, a value that we already know. We can now calculate delta S of the surroundings. Let's insert this new equation into the equation for delta S universe. We put in the values of delta S and delta H that we already calculated. The entropy variation of the universe is 29.5 joules per kelvin. Remember that spontaneous reactions, or reactions at equilibrium, will always have a positive delta S universe, or 1 equal to 0. So, you can let your parents know that it's not your fault that your room only gets messier and messier. The disorder of the universe never goes down, it's the second law of thermodynamics. 